Almost there. Okay, day seven, zero days, nineteen hours. Ooh. All right, there we go. That should do it, I think. And then let's. Well, that was a pain to type, but whatever. Time.cpp. All right, let's see. I hope I didn't make a typo, but I mean, <laughs> right as I say, I hope I didn't make a typo. That is not a good omen. Oh wow! All right, let's see. So I don't really—I didn't even do this in my head, so I don't know if it's going to be right. But let's see what happens. Day one. Okay, so day one we start out with a zero days, and then one hour. Oh my goodness! Look what we forgot to do. I forgot to call this adjust time method, so it never. Face so you'll see we ended up with 200 minutes and 179 seconds. Sorry about that, that was pretty foolish. Basically we need to call this whenever time gets altered. <laughs> Alter time, you sound pretty cool. Whatever. So I just forgot to throw that in. Basically whenever time gets altered we need to call this adjust. I guess we could also just call it before output if you wanted. Only call it one time. But you know, maybe you weren't going to use output, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, this is not good. Negative 31 hours. I'm going to have to figure out where that went wrong. Wrong. Let's look. First, it looked like it was going pretty good. We got our 35 minutes. Then we add 2 hours. Okay, 3 hours. 1 minute, 14 seconds. Okay, we haven't had to adjust anything. Add 50 minutes to that. Okay, you see it properly wrapped around and added one hour instead. And it must have done the seconds as well. Pretty good. But eventually, I ended up with this negative 31 hours. I bet I know what I did. I bet I check out. Yeah, look at this. I did minus equals 60. God, that was stupid. I bet there were people watching that and were thinking the entire time, oh, this guy is going to mess it up. It's going to be so stupid. Whatever, there we go. Okay, all fixed. So yeah, this is pretty tight, huh? Um, we've got this this cool class where we can just add our time, and we don't even have to worry about how it's going to be wrapping around because we've programmed that in the class, so we can just add time as as much as we want. Uh, we don't even. I mean, this could be 400 hours or something if we wanted, and it'll it'll figure that out. It'll do all the math. We get 17 days, you know. And if you wanted, you could uh, expand this so it does years and then do, like, centuries or whatever. You know, you could get pretty intense. So, it's pretty cool. I think that that's it for this video. That was just, just another example of classes and how cool they can be. Um, like I mentioned earlier briefly, um... There is kind of a better way to go about this adding time. And we can actually rig up our class so that we can use the plus operator and then add. You'll notice basically all we're doing here is passing in a whole other time object. So if we could make a temporary time object and then have that be this hours, minutes, and then set it up so we could just add time like that using a whole other time object. That'd be pretty sweet, and we can actually do that. We'll be talking about how you can get that going pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure how soon, but pretty soon. So look forward to that. Hope you guys liked this video. I, I mean, that's like I said, that's one of my favorite uh, applications of a class, something like that, into a time interface. So pretty cool in my opinion. Hope you liked it. If you did, rate the video high. If you did not, that's that's fine. I appreciate your, you watching anyway. Uh, you can rate it low, and I'll appreciate the feedback. Um, if you have a question or you're confused, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. I love to respond, help out. And then uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. I'm up to, I think, seven subscribers. I'm actually really happy with that. I remember when I only had two, and I was pretty excited then. So seven is pretty cool. 
So shout out to everyone who's already subscribed. Thanks, you guys. That's pretty awesome. Um, okay, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.